you know, Dominic, one of the, one of the SA Motorsport Sim Racing members, also doing the Post Cup. Um, this is all about the Post Cup this weekend. Now, um, Dominic, we know you at the pace. You were on. You were very happy. Pole position on the grid. Um, what um, what went through your mind when you took pole? Hi, Rene. Um, yeah, so, well, I got Paul, um, I was, I was quite happy about that, um, but, uh, yeah, I think what went through my mind was just you know, having a clean start and, you know, just making it count, not letting all that hard work go to waste for the pole lap, but yeah, I suppose just, just the start of the race, keeping it clean, you know, not getting involved in any incidents and then, you know, just having a good race going forward. Your previous races in the Force Cup, um, I mean, since the Force Cup started, you guys were up to the pace, they had some issues during the line, during the, the couple of races and some, some difficult drivers you had to deal with. Um, what went through your mind? at that stage and where you are lying in the championship now um did you ever thought that you will be so high up um yeah look i mean obviously when we first came in um we we had to get a you know a grip of how the car's handling and you know find the right setup and all that um, and it's just, you know, hard work with my teammate Luna and I, you know, we always work together, we always, you know, we try to share advice and whatever, and I didn't really think about the championship at that stage, I mean, I was just, I was just doing my own, you know, my own race and, you know, just trying to do the best that I can, but, um, yeah, I mean, obviously we just push hard every race and, uh, you know, try to get the best results and, yeah, I mean, that's that's what we do every race when we when we take part, we just give our all and, and just hope for the best result. Now, Dominic, you're speaking about your teammate Luna. He is your father and you are the son, so is it is it easier racing against him or is it a bit difficult? Um, with setups, um, knowing that dad is a bit tight with for son. Normally in, in, other, in, in other areas and dad wants to pass out of his kids. So is it a bit difficult? Does he give you some, some heartache um, in a bit? Yeah, so my teammate Luna, yes, is my dad. And, um, you know, always from a young age, he was, he was always so fast, you know, and I always, I always, used to try and catch him and try and beat him and it you know he was just so quick and I just pushed myself and pushed myself and eventually I got to his level and now you know we're at a point where we can both compete and you know I think we make a really good team together um, in terms of setup yeah look I've learned a lot from him he's helped me a lot um, he's given me the advice but uh, I also try my own thing as well because him and I have a little bit of a different driving style. So, you know, sometimes the setup that he tries won't always work with me and vice versa. But we always try and help each other because we know more or less what we like out of a car. So we can we can actually we can actually work together and help each other and give each other advice on what we're looking for, you know, like across all different layouts of track and whatever. So it's it's fun. It's good to have someone like that that you can work closely with and you know, obviously being my dad it's just it just makes it extra special at the end. Now Dominic we know that the racing is tight in the post cup. Um some issues has happened and and um, some bad luck through the through, through the races um, since um, you guys have come off the board but being a new driver and keeping the competition close being um, not the only new driver in the group being the oldest, the oldest SAM motorsport is new to the Force Cup 
Um, do you think it's a bit easy to, to race with the guys? Yes, no, definitely. Um, I mean, the guys, I mean, we all have a good understanding. Everyone respects each other on track, um, which is which is very important with racing. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, we are competitors. We, you know, we all want to be the best. Everyone wants to do their best and achieve. But at the end of the day, you've also got to be, you know, you need to you need to have respect for, you know, your fellow drivers and whatever, and to like, make sure that you keep it clean all the time. And uh, I think, yeah, you know, we have a good group, the guys, all good. Everyone, everyone, you know, tries. And I think we, yeah, we all have a good understanding. We all work well together. Now one more question, Dominic, um, before I have to say goodbye to you. Um, any faster laps in the future or are you also keen to see someone else coming up and give you a dice for a dice for the money? Oh, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, the competition is always strong. I mean, uh, we've got some pretty fast guys and, uh, you know, obviously I hope to see that there'll be obviously more competition. The guys are improving themselves week after week. Um, but yeah, with that, I mean, we also always push our hardest and we try our best. So yeah, I mean, you know, like they say, you win some, you lose some. And uh, I think I think there's always a challenge which, which makes it great and makes it fun. You know, it's, the guys are all up there and they're all, you know, they try their best, they're on the pace, so, yeah, look, we, we push hard all the time, and when the opportunity comes, or we get a pole position, or we get a, you know, like a race win, we celebrate, and, you know, when someone else is quicker, then, you know, we congratulate, and we, you know, obviously we're happy with that win for them, so, yeah, it's, yeah, that's what racing is all about. Everyone, everyone deserves a chance, you know. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that was Dominic from the SA Motorsport League in the Post Cup. Um, you will see more of this man. He is quick, I have to say it. Now, Dominic, before you before you say goodbye, um, anyone else you want to call out and come and join the league and see how fast they are and and is the league open for everyone who wants to race? Well, thanks a lot, Renee, for having me on. Um, and yes, no, definitely, we we're always looking for new recruits and new people to come in and join us. I mean, it's very fun. I mean, it's it's hours and hours of fun, and it's it's just something good to do, something to push yourself in. So, yeah, I mean, we're always looking for people that are keen to join and keen to race. And at the end of the day, that's that's really, you know, what it's all about. We're all passionate about racing. So, yeah, anybody that wants to join us, more than welcome to always join in and have some fun. But thank you very much. Cheers. Right, guys, that was Dominic, um, our SA Motorsport um, sim racing guy. So, yeah, interview by Dominic is finished. Thanks, guys. Luna, one of our SA motorsport um, sim racers. Um, Luna, it's nice to have you here on, on our, on our um, system. So, can you tell me a bit more about you and why did you join the SA motorsport? Yeah, I don't need that. Thanks. So it's a uh, pleasure to be here with part of you and part of this group. I was the African Racing League. Uh, well, I've been in the sim racing scene for quite some time now and uh, always been somewhat of a, a lone ranger just scanning all the lobbies and racing here, yeah, racing there internationally and um, I did race for a while in the Portuguese league had some fun there with the boys and sparring with them and, uh, and pushing myself to compete with uh, some top guys but um, you know just um, Never actually really felt 
like uh, I was racing, to be honest with you. And um, uh, having immigrated out of South Africa in 2019, and being in the UK now for since then, um, actually gives me a, a chance to actually connect back to South Africa, to my fellow South Africans, and uh, hearing that nice uh, South African accent again. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, so much fun for me to just be part of a group where it's not just uh, a game, you know, where you're just playing a game, but you actually feel like you're really in a car racing. And uh, hey, that's, um, it's like I found uh, my second home in the sim racing world there. Now, Luna, you're saying you've been jumping around some racing, some racing, and you're comfortable being back in the SA some racing, seeing that this is a brand new some racing class. Um, what are you, um, your thoughts forward for for the group? And um, can you tell us a bit about the group? Um, how is the group? Is the group where you um, tight? Is a group like a family? Is a group loose? Is a um, like you just come into a, to a bunch of cars and you race and, and it's over and you go home or is the group like a, a chat after racing and there's fun in the group and some ideas of the future? Uh, yeah, Rene, I actually find the group um, uh, it's very professional and all the races are broadcast on YouTube with um, uh, commentary which is I find very very professional and um, the rules and codes of conduct and um, you know very very professional and um, you know the racing is uh, very very fast guys they're all very very quick so it's good stiff competition when out on circuit and racing and uh, um, everybody's just a, a fun fun crowd eh? a fun crowd to be with fun to race with and uh, we've got our whatsapp group that we communicate about during the week uh, in between races and we discuss times and uh, setups on cars everybody helpful with one another and just uh, a very friendly south african group of people eh, which i enjoy being part of and um, some jokes thrown around here good humor and uh, but other than that, otherwise very very professional group of boys and um, me, me being now 52 years of age, I mean, uh, and having my son also on board in the group as well, I, I just see uh, all the boys as like um, little youngsters eh? and um, some very, very good talent within our group. And um, also, I mean, so how would I put it? I, I actually like the fact that it gets broadcast on YouTube so that the rest of the world can see, you know, the is talent in South Africa, there is fast sim races in South Africa and uh, they must watch out, we're coming. No, 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 one more question before I have to say goodbye to you. Um, you mentioned Dominic being your being your son. Is it easy to work with Dominic setting up the cars and having fun on the on the track? And is it nice to have him on on your side? Yeah, it's great to have Dominique as my teammate, as my son and my teammate. And um, the sim racing that we've done, we've always been teammates in every class we've joined in together. And um, he's also an excellent livery creator. He does his own liveries as well. And uh, as far as car setups go, it's, um, I will share with him what I feel feels good for me. And sometimes he doesn't agree with it. But um, he's very, very fast. He's a super fast guy, and um, he obviously likes to adjust the cars according to what he feels he's comfortable with. But yes, he's more like a, uh, when we race together. He's more like the strategist as far as pit stops go and uh, how far we should go and when we should stop and things like that. You know, I just do the racing, and uh, you know, it's um, it's actually makes me very proud to see what he's become in the sim racing world that um, uh, most of the time on track I spend uh, my time looking at the back of his car. Luna, thanks for having you in this interview and I hope to see more of you in the future. Right guys, that was Luna guys on our interview here um, today. Um, a very quick driver I have to say. Don't worry about his age, it doesn't look like he's that old on the track. <laughs>